libraries from one XBMC to another. This is kind of an alternative to the MySQL sharing, which is a, a lot more complex. Uh, eventually, in the next few versions, UPnP sharing will be gaining a lot of features and actually be better and will replace my SQL sharing. Which if you ever try to do MySQL sharing, you know it's, it can be a pain in the butt. The first thing with UPnP sharing is you need an existing library. And that we have right here. We've got movies already scanned into the library on machine A. Now we want to go into settings on the machine A here. Network. By default this is off. We want to turn it on. Share video and music libraries through UPnP. And that's all we have to do on the instance that we want to share. B, the machine that we want to view the other library on. You can have a library on this machine or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, the other library won't replace it or integrate. It'll show up actually as a video source through files. The nice thing about this is you can have any number of shared libraries and just browse them through your video sources. So, as you can see here, I'm uh, adding a video source, add videos, you browse, and you scroll down here, and there's actually UPnP devices. That's a UPnP browser that should show us all these shares. And there we go. So you select that just as you would any video source. Then we go to OK. You can name it if you want. This comes up automatically, the set content window. You can't actually set content on a UPnP share uh, because the, the file paths are dynamic. It doesn't really work. It, it's not really meant to work either because UPnP has its own uh, data, metadata, or at least it can. So we don't actually need to scan this into our local library. We're using library data from the other computer. So we go right into movies. It it works just as if the the library is on this computer. So all your nodes for shorting by genre, actors, it's all here. You can go right in the title. You don't have to share thumbnails. You don't even have to use file sharing. Like all these files can be locally on the hard drive of the other computer, not not set up as as net, uh, network shares and the UPnP server on XBMC will take care of everything. So as you can see, we got all our thumbnails, all our summaries, everything. Just like that. It won't synchronize watch statuses or resume points yet, but as I mentioned before, future versions of XBMC will actually start adding these things in, and it'll be just a, a full replacement for library sharing and people won't have to mess with the MySQL sharing. So there it is. Just as a normal file share. So if I ever want to get back into that, just go right in the files and I can add I can add other XBMC instances. Uh, they can go vice versa. And that's pretty much it. If you if, one thing to note if you don't see when you're browsing here, when you go to add, when you go to add, browse, and you go to this point, and you don't see the other instance pop up right away. Um, I had that problem. I, I just went to the other XBMC box, turned it off, turned it back on, or quit XBMC, went back into it, and um, then it showed up right away. I'm not exactly sure why that happens. I think maybe just the network overall might take it a moment to see it. So if you don't see your XBMC share pop up right away in the other XBMC, you that might be something to, to check. Just turn the other one on and off real quick and then poof, it'll should it should show up.
and uh, other other UPnP clients should be able to access the libraries as well, not just XPnP. So.